All right, hello music students, this is Mr. Davis. This is music class for November 19th, 2020. Uh, so today, remember to go to the music journal question, music journal question 47. Um, we'll also have a couple instruments from Australia, the Pacific Islands, uh, the didgeridoo and the bull roarer. Uh, so make sure you go to those links and you listen to those as well. Uh, we'll have some things out of the music book and we'll go over all that uh, in this video. So watch this video entirely through so you can get the, uh, everything that we went over in, in class today. And then at the end we will do a musical notation thing called Know Your Notes. So actually go on your music journal in the blue folder and then scroll down and see music journal 47. It'll say 11, 19, 20 beside it, today's date. And then answer this question in the discussion board. Explain why you do or not agree with this quotation. The world would be a dull place without music. So explain why you do or do not agree with this quotation. The world would be a dull place without music. Remember to use a good sentence, seven to 14 words, capital, capitalization, punctuation, all those things, don't use text, don't abbreviate things, actually write them out, type them out. Answer that in the blue folder under Music Journal, under the discussion board 47, and then make sure you, that you uh, comment to a couple people in, that, in those posts with nice, respectful uh, comments in your answer and in, in uh, the co comments or the replies to others. Don't forget any separate links that you watch the bull roarer and didgeridoo from Australia and the Pacific Islands. Like I said, those will be separate links inside the assignment. So make sure you watch the bull roarer and the didgeridoo, our cultural instruments today. All right, we're still in our music book on lesson five. It says describe melodic contour. You probably know hundreds of songs without realizing it. You hear music every day on radio, CDs, MP3s, mp4s and many other ways nowadays television and in concerts but of all the melodies you know what makes one sound different the way in which the notes of a melody are put together makes each one in each song unique the song the shape excuse me the shape and the directions of the melody's pitches are called melodic contour okay say melodic contour there you go I'll say it, now you say it. Melodic contour. Okay, good. All right, so we're gonna take a look at the shape of a melody here. All right, here is the shape of a melody. It says review the pitches in an F major scale. So here's the F major scale. You can see the treble clef there on this one and the B flat note on the third, every good boy. So it's a B flat in the key signature and then the four, four time. Then we start on the pitch F. So F major is Do, F. Re is G. Mi is an A. Fa is a B flat. So you see that's on the B, the fourth note over, is on the B line, and it has the flat symbol over in the key signature, so it carries across, and it makes it a B flat. It's a half step lower than a B. So Fa is on a B flat. So is a C. La is a D, T is an E, and the last Do at the top of the scale is an F, high F. Okay, so you start on low Do on the low F, and then at the end of the scale is the high F, which is an octave, eight notes. So this is an eight note scale. The eighth note at the top is called the octave. So you have a low F octave, then a high F octave. So let me play that for you. And you can see now the contour is going up here. Hit it one more time. Maybe. We're just doing the eight note scale from Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Okay. So that's the contour is just going up from bottom from the low F all the way to the top F. So that's an F major scale. In melodies, pitches move up or down. They can move by step up or down or step down. 
the scale. All right, so let's play this one. Let's now see it step up and then step down. Play that again. Well, don't let me hit it. So that's by step. You can see each note is stepping to the next note and then it is stepping down. So that contour has it going up and then down. All right, they can move in small hops or skips. Small hops or skips. Most of the time I call that a skip. So you can see how it's skipping up into spaces and then skipping down into spaces. Let's play this one. Then they can take big leaps up or down. So those are big leaps. You can see that went from an octave, and then that one leaps down, leaps. So skips are closer, leaps are bigger. This one's leaping all over the place. a while for it to play again. All right, they can stay the same uh, as, this, as the previous pitch. So it can also just repeat the same pitch. All right, so you saw that's on that F note, bottom note. Okay, class, so now you learned that Musical contour can go like up, straight up, step up, or step down. It can also go in small skips. Remember, skips meaning from one space to the next or one line to the next. Or it can take big leaps up or down. Or it can repeat the same pitch, and it just does the same as the pre pre previous pitch. So it just all stays the same. So some music skills. We're going to compare four clefs. So when you're playing... Uh, keyboard, you would see both the treble and the bass clef. Um, we've talked about treble and bass pretty well, but there's also two other clefs called the alto and tenor clefs, and they appear in notation for specific instruments. So specifically, they include the viola, the cello, the bass, so we're talking about the double bass or string bass, uh, the bassoon, um, and then sometimes the trombone. So uh, bassoon, trombone, we use more like bass clef now, but treble clef is also called the G clef. All right, so you can see that on the left-hand side. Then the bass clef is on the bottom, that's the F clef. So remember those two dots are around that note F. But now we have an alto clef and a tenor clef that we haven't seen much about. Okay, you can see that the note in the center of the alto clef and then you can see the one in the tenor clef on that line. So what they do for these string instruments like uh, viola, um, double bass, things like that, is they will read this clef here and wherever that intersects, whatever that note might be, is that note will be the note C. All right, so that middle line there for them will be C because that intersects there. This one down here, that will be the note C. And they'll read it from there. For their notes. So that's what an alto clef looks like. And it goes to the center line. And then you can see a tenor clef at the bottom that goes on the fourth line. All right. Hello, this is Mr. Davis. And this is our assignment for today, for Thursday, November 19th. It's called Know Your Notes. Okay. So know your notes. So make sure that you get on Schoology, look under the week two assignments, go into the folder, find Know Your Notes towards the bottom of that folder on Thursday. All right, so it's Thursday, and it'll be 11, 19, 20 beside of it. Know your notes, 11, 19, 20. So it says draw the correct note in the box that it says in each number. So you'll have 14 notes written down all the way, all the way in those boxes. You'll have a note drawn in every box. 
and then on the left hand side you will write that note's name on the line okay so remember you the, your options here for this assignment whole note okay that one equals four counts so that's one option you could have half half note remember that can have the stem going up or down it's got to fit in that box and that's for two counts all right could also the option could be a quarter note okay I'm trying to fit it there and then that will be filled in dark with the stem on it worth one beat each one count all right and then the only other one you could have is an eighth note remember that eighth note has a stem and a flag on it and that eighth note all right eighth here I -E -G -G. Th yep eighth and then that'll be worth a half of a count. All right, so as an example, number one, a note that is not filled in and has no stem. So I will draw the the whole note in the box, and then I will put whole over to the side. All right, that will be your assignment today. You go all the way down through, all the way down through these boxes, drawing the note and then writing what it is over to the side. So like number two as example, a note having one flag. Okay, so we know that that's the eighth, so the eighth would be the answer here, and then we would have the eighth note drawn in the box beside of that, in number two. Okay, so go all the way down through, one through uh, 14, and um, that will be your assignment for today, Thursday, November 19th. Thank you, and have a great day, music students.